Hello there! Welcome back to another fun travel video in Crazy to Forever. So we took our flight from Da Nang and reached the most happening city of Vietnam and the last one of our 12 days here, Ho Chi Minh. We checked into our hotel, we hired the bike from our hotel and off we went to our first destination, the Saigon Central Post Office. Wondering why this place would be a place to visit? <laughs> well, it's a perfect combination of neoclassical European architecture and Asian decorations. There are many souvenir shops. If you would like, you can purchase from here. But what I would really suggest is not to do, as I do have a best place for you further in this video from where you can shop your money out. Next, we made our way to the Independence Palace where you can explore the century-long history of the building that once served as the seat of the French colonial government. During the Vietnam War, it served as the residence and office of the South Vietnamese President. It does have a very pricey shop as well. <laughs> Headed towards the Saigon Sky Deck. Behind me is the financial tower from where the Sky Deck is. At its completion in 2010, it became the tallest building in Vietnam. The lift will directly take you there and voila, a place where you can get a wonderful 360 degree view of the city. It's best to visit this place just before sunset to get the best of three worlds, the day, the sunset and the night. There is no time limit here so we spent almost the entire evening here. This side is the Saigon River and we saw something from above here and I jotted it down on the map just to see what it is if we had time. It also has an exhibition that shows how dressing evolved in Vietnam. Then we made our way to the dinner. The city is very very sparkly and filled with lights and you know I love sparkly. You must try this restaurant. A full detail is there in the best vegan food video and it has an amazing story too. Guess what? We were just biking around like a loafer and we found this amazing weekend night market. If you are in Ho Chi Minh on a weekend, search this on the Google map and it would just be the best place for quenching your shopping thirst. From our previous video, now you know how much we are crazy for these games. And now, now we will be taking you to the most favorite, lively, amazing, sci-fi kind of place in Vietnam, the Biu Vien Walking Street. I had it on my list but unaware of what it really was, we went in and I have not edited much or trimmed. So if you really want to move ahead, you can go to 4.30 on our timeline or just enjoy the vibes. Oh my god, this is basically a red light area or say the coolest red light I have ever seen. Family, couples, couple with kids, everyone is here. The music was so high and you would just, you know, you can just dine on the roads, enjoy the music and just go with the flow. <laughs> Crazy place guys. We walked here like thrice the road just to see so many people around. After seeing this, I am no more a feminist. <laughs> I was just going crazy all along dude. I mean look at the buildings and the decorations. I don't know why I am sounding like this but I am already there. Few seconds of silence before we enter day 2. You can see some really cool things over here, like Jugaad, you know. War remnants is not just about the helicopter or the war tanks, but it's more about how the Vietnamese struggled for freedom, what all they had to go through and how they were tortured and the history is worse, you know, worse than Indians or you could just say very similar. You can easily spend around two hours here if you are a museum kind of guy and it is a very deep touching uh, thing that really connects you to the people here. 
then you have the people's committee building we were just moving around it but uh, not inside it cuz it was closed something is always happening for your good a uh, good was the time at the bentan market <laughs> this is a place that i was talking about before you could be nervous ashutosh but this is what i was born for so we are in the market right now uh, the market is very lively in the evening so also pay a visit in the evening here because there are a lot of children and families playing around and there are a lot of restaurants that that is there in this area it's an amazing place you can decorate your home with we also got the shell art paintings from here like four pieces for a very good bargain there's not only shopping here you can also have delicious food tasty food and get back to shopping try the caramel pudding it's very very good it's not a museum you can actually buy snake wine from here another gymnast on the road i think you can just roam around ho chi minh to just enjoy such sights Then there's the cathedral too which was also under construction and so we did not go in happens for good you know so we just had some free time and we were roaming around here and there and when we came to know that there's a river here because we saw from the sky deck we wanted to go the side of the river where we came to know that there is a water bus here and the ticket per person for one way will be 15 vnd so totally for both of us to come and go they took around uh, 60 vnd this is also an attraction which is not there on google map you can come any time and just book whenever you want the buses have a scheduled time and this is the place wow look at the ferry of course uh, that's not what we will boat because all the nice things are not for us now was our time so we checked in and we went straight towards the ferry we were already given seat numbers okay so there's no use running but 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 you can just stand at the back of the ferry to catch that place run we're right now on the boat and it's so beautiful yeah jaga mat do very true there's no view from inside so it's nice to stand here and enjoy and once the place is gone it's gone forever Saigon water bus is a relatively new addition to the busy transportation of the city. You get to enjoy a 10.8 km route along the Saigon River and I recommend this doing at night. You can go under bridges, across beautiful buildings, light it up, sparkly sparkly and it's a very nice soothing journey. Next day was our tour that was booked by a cloak to the Kuchi tunnels and the Mekong Delta. So we got into our limousine with three more couples and made our way. So good morning today. So good morning today. So good morning today. I don't know why I sound like a teacher. Today we are doing a trip uh, for the Kuchi tunnels and the Mekong Delta. So right now we are on a rest place where people who were affected by Agent Orange are employed in this um, in, at this place, and the things that they're going to do is what we're going to see today. We went through the process of how shell paintings are made, and as I said before, those affected by Agent Orange are mostly employed for such of artworks, which also gives them a wonderful opportunity of employment. And after every education session there's always a shop which would price its products so high that you could actually have sponsored another person's trip to Vietnam. Uh so right now we're heading towards the Kuchi tunnels. The Kuchi are an immense network of connecting tunnels and are part of a much larger network that underline much of the country. This was the location of several military campaigns and survival story of the Vietnamese. And keeps in mind Most of these traps aren't designed to kill you. They designed to wound you. Yes. Oh. Because a dead soldier could easily be left behind, but a wounded one need to be rescued. <laughs> And it's the rescuing part that takes time. Precious time that we need to get back inside the tunnel and escape to fight another day. Just like a Vietnamese, mm. when it's peace, we're only peaceful farmers. But 
if a war has happened or if you invade us, we will not hesitate. Thank you. This will be your happiest moment, right? I'm going to stand on the top. Head straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one area where a bomb was dropped and can you see the impact? Yeah. We have played a wrong. So, this is a fighting trench. Yeah, fighting trench and stuff with you. Now we're gonna crawl inside the tunnel. The tunnel has now been enlarged for the tourists whereas it is it was only half of the size originally and now it is cemented too. There are stages till you can go like 400 meters, 100 meters, 80, 60, 20, as long as um, you go, the tunnel keeps getting tinier. Stop, stop, don't move. Okay. Okay, sir, I'm going to go. And these are basically tunnel traps. There's no map back then, so tunnel rats would get lost since they wouldn't know where to go. Moving mm. furthermore, we reach the Mekong Delta where we took a boat ride along the Delta. It's very similar to the Pichavaram near Chennai. <laughs> then we went cycling around this beautiful village in Mekong Delta. Hello, madam. Where are you going, madam? Oh, hi, Terry. Do. Is it a nice village? Let's 
Yeah. We can touch? I don't want to touch. That is bad idea. Yeah. Bad idea, yeah. No, no, yeah. Okay. Oh. Just don't drop, huh? Because <laughs> yeah, then yeah, it's finished. It. Everybody is finished then. You got it? And I would have not wanted anything more beautiful than this site. There were snakes, there were sharks, octopus, even ghosts from the Harry Potter. Then we had our last dinner in Vietnam and with patthar on our hearts, we bid our last goodbye to the stir fried noodles and the pho and I will miss Vietnam. If you are new to our channel, do subscribe to our channel and stay in touch with us and plan some really good itineraries for your next travel plans. Do share these with those who need. Bye bye, take care and I'll really miss Vietnam. <laughs>